things are crazy right now in terms of gearing up to move, but I love pretzel. It was a Thursday night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. It struck me like lightning. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another daily vlog. My name is Jess. If you are new, I vlog every single day over here on our YouTube channel. Every day, Monday through Sunday, or however you want to say it, you'll see a video from me. And um, we do a little bit of everything. Hauls, video, uh, daily vlogs, mom life, pastor life, wife, life, <laughs> special needs mom life, uh, moving life, all of it. All of it. So it's been crazy the last what few months and we're kind of closing into the finish line here so welcome so I left you guys yesterday telling you the saga of me being sick with bronchitis um it is it was the weirdest sickness I am starting to feel a lot better it is the weirdest sickness of like coughing and coughing and coughing didn't have any congestion didn't have any other symptoms and so I felt fine for like days even though I was coughing a lot but then it's like it all caught up to me yesterday and my body was so worn out from all the coughing anyway we finally finally bit the bullet went to urgent care yesterday they prescribed lots of different medicines, including a steroid pack, which is why my face is all red. Um, and I finally got the last medicine this morning, which was a cough syrup. That has helped so much. I finally have had relief. It hasn't made me feel too loopy either. I was really worried it was going to make me like knock me out, but I took it at like 12 and it's almost three and it only lasts for four hours and I feel I feel fine um but it definitely helped the coughing went ahead and got a shower blue dry my hair and we're just now opening the vlog and I still haven't edited yesterday's vlog so I'm about to do that here in a minute um things are crazy right now in terms of gearing up to move uh I feel like I don't know like nothing like a, just chaotic I just feel like my inside like I am very, I don't know if you guys are like this, but when my external living space and life is crazy, I feel crazy internally. Um, I'm so thankful for my faith, my friends, my family that definitely grounds me. You know, I know God has this. I know things are going to be okay, but I just feel like really anxious about everything. We're finalizing, closing this week, and that'll be happening later on this weekend. Um, and we're like now planning like the whole move who's coming what parents are coming when it's like real it's getting real which makes me a little bit like oh my gosh it's here so welcome to another daily vlog I'm feeling a lot better thank goodness David has been an angel he has helped so much bringing me cough drops bringing me water taking care of the kids you know get, get, feeding them doing laundry he's been cutting the grass I feel so bad for him because he was gone all weekend a very busy weekend he had and then he had to jump right into like taking care of everybody because I like you know I it just all caught up to me before I even realized so anyway um today is going to be a fun one hopefully uh it is pretzel day so every like few months the pretzel truck comes around it's Auntie Anne's pretzel truck and it usually comes on a day where like I'm not able to go get a pretzel I've never actually been but I love pretzels like Auntie Anne's, um, Wetzel's, anything like those big baked pretzels. That's like one of my favorite foods and you never get them unless you're at the mall or something. We don't have them anywhere close to here. So I have been looking forward to today, pretzel day. If you watch the office, you'll know what I keep meaning when I say pretzel day. But on pretzel day, well, I like pretzel day. Um, the only other person in my family that likes pret hot pretzels is Lucy. And so I've been waiting on her to get home so she can go with me to go get pretzels if she wants to. She may not want to. I'll just go by myself. I have no shame. Um, what do you guys, so here's question of the day. If you like hot pretzels or warm, soft, hot pretzels, what flavor do you like? Because I know they have like cinnamon sugar. They have like sour cream and onion, I think. They have like all kinds of different like flavors they have the sweet they have the savory they have like pretzel dogs they have the pizza made out of pretzels what do you guys like they have all the different dips so tell me your auntie ann's order or wherever wetzels i think wetzels is even better than auntie ann's at least we had a really good experience at one wetzel and so i compare everything to that 
Um, my favorite is just straight up original with cheese sauce to dip it in. That is my absolute favorite. But here comes Lucy. She's getting home. So I'm going to see if she wants to go with me. I'm going to go red face and all. My, my uh, steroids have definitely, they haven't like made me feel, um, like really energetic like they do sometimes they, well that's probably that probably would actually be a good thing if it did I could like whiz around here and get all the uh, boxes packed and all of that but um I think the exhaustion from the co coughing is just like balanced it out but my face looks like I've been sunburned so I'm gonna see if she wants to go and see how her day was and um I will check in with you guys when we're on our way to get our pretzel all right Lucy where are we going pencil tuck Pretzel truck. Okay, so what is your order gonna be? Party? A strawberry lemonade with a soft pretzel. And you don't like any dips or anything. You just like a regular soft pretzel, right? I wish you would chocolate dip. Well, how chocolate dip and a pretzel would taste. Maybe the sweet pretzel with a chocolate dip. They have icing dip. No. Oh, just regular. Okay, we're gonna go try to find this pretzel truck. Oh, that's good. Tell us what you got. You got the strawberry lemonade. She got, look, we got everything. We got everything that we said we were going to get. There was a little line. They were busy today. Okay, Lucy, oh, take a bite. Tell us what you think. She's only sitting in the front because we're not moving. Yeah. Don't yeah, worry. Don't worry. Is it good? Is it as good as the one in Disney World? Saws goes along in Disney World. I'm telling you, we had the best experience at Wetzel's Pretzels in Disney World, and we'll never be able to beat that. Let me try it. Let me see. Mm -mm, it's not quite as good. It's still good, though. Mm -hmm. You want to eat it? I got cheese sauce. All right, you guys. So I made a little bit of a mistake. Uh, we were leaving the pretzel truck, and I was that like, was good. I, I, I thought, you know what? Let me go stop over here uh, right next, kind of across the street, was a Scooters. And it just opened here. I never had tried Scooters before, and iced coffee sounded good. So um, I, I did like a mobile order, and I put one in. I guess I was like trying to look at their menu, and I was going to get a flavored iced coffee. So I put one in for like a flavored iced coffee, add coconut or something. And it's always going to be like $6. And so then I found another one that was like a flavor. It already came with a flavor or something. It was only going to be like five fifty. So I did that. But I didn't know the first one got added. So once I added my card, it didn't give you a way to like look at your order and make sure it was right. So somehow I ended up with one, two of the exact same. I tried to cancel it. It already went through. I didn't want to have to like cause a scene or anything. So we have two and they're not even a flavor David likes. They're both coconut. Mommy, they save do. one for tomorrow. Yeah, Lucy's like, why don't you save one to tomorrow? So maybe I'll do that. I'll have to drain the ice out or it'll be watered down. It'll probably still taste okay, even watered down. It does taste very good. It's very refreshing. It smells like iced coffee because that's what it is. But I wasn't planning on getting two, especially two of the same drink. How boring. Oh, your foot's asleep. So we're going to go into Aldi because Lucy wants honey buns. What else do we need? I feel like in Aldi, we, we don't need any treats. Miss Sarah brought us so many treats. We just, we're going to have treats for the rest of the week. Treats. You don't think so? Well, we... I, She's already gone through like almost the whole bag of butter. There's still a few left. Um, Maybe like three servings. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to all do. And the bag is like this big, guys. Yeah, it was a big bag. Although I feel like those bags are getting smaller. Um, so we might get some. I think you probably need some more veggies. Maybe something like that. So we're going to run into all so Aldi real quick. I think we have some blueberries still. You do. You put me. You put them. Some in your lunch? Yes. Yeah. So anyway. But what about strawberries? I'm good on strawberries. I just got strawberries. We're just going to walk the aisles and see if there's anything interesting. It is Wednesday, which means all the new stuff at Aldi came out. So yeah, I it's dangerous to go in here. But let's go dangerous. because we may. Oh. It's dangerous because we might spend too much money. But anyway, no, let's go Aldi to Aldi. Money in Aldi. Yeah, it's it's a dangerous place to go shopping, but it's always I fun. Shopping. I like Aldi. All right, you guys, ignore the mess all around. Um, I did doctor up the other iced coffee put extra syrup in it extra creamer and david likes it so yay we didn't waste money um marky you want to tell us about and by the way my camera was broken like i think i told you guys the screen um was like hanging off but i used this eyeglasses repair kit and i fixed it 
which is good because my backup camera is not holding a battery. So I'm going to have to send that one in. Look at the orange. We did a lot of spending here at Aldi. Not really. We only got a few things. Honey buns, cheese crackers. I, I always mean to get the mixed berry and I always grab the raspberry. But I think the kids still like these. Cinnamon rolls, peppers. So right now I'm going to go take care of the lunch boxes. Like that is all ate, Nate ate. He did not use pizza or his Cheez-Its. Um, great job. Great job. And I'm going to edit yesterday's video. Oh my gosh. I was looking up a video for one of you. Like I can't find it. I'm looking up. Like I don't know I did a video of my favorite YouTubers or something. So I'm trying to find that. And I can't remember exactly when it was. I'm trying to like find all of the... Um, like tags, like type in anything to try to find uh, for Gen D to find this video. And I stumbled across, I feel like I've made it on YouTube. Y'all, there is a video called How Much Does Blush Jess Make on YouTube? This is a channel, I guess, that does like all different people on YouTube, but they did a video of me. This is a year ago. And um, they did, how much does Blush Jess make on YouTube? And they like take, I guess they figure it out based on my subscribers and different stuff. I will say it's it's a lot off. They say I make like $200 a month. I do make more, a little bit more than that. But um, still, I think that is just so funny. There is a video. Now, I do, I do stumble across hate videos sometimes, but this one just cracks me up to no end. How much does Blush Jess make on YouTube? That is an actual video. Look at the thumbnail. That is so funny to me, but I can't find this video. I know I did a video on how, like my favorite YouTubers, um, and I've tried to search every which way. David's on the phone. If you hear him talking, he's a very loud talker. I know. Okay. So here's a few of my favorite things that I talk about YouTubers on there. So maybe I'll link this one for her. I thought I had one that was just YouTubers, but anyway, I thought that was hilarious. Okay, David's still loud talking on the phone, but um, I wanted to do my Patreon shout out. So come have some iced coffee with me. And these are all of my Patreons that have supported me, or I guess my patrons that have supported me this month. Thank you all so much. My patron information, Patreon information is linked down below. These people either pay $3, $5, or $10, depending on their tier. We get we do extra fun stuff over on Patreon. There's lives, there's uh, even Zoom calls, and extra videos go up over there and all kinds of stuff. So once a month, I shout out everyone, and then every week, I try to shout out my gold tier. But today, I'm going to shout out all of you guys, because you are all so awesome to help me out. So first, let's shout out the gold, uh, the bronze tier. Stephanie, Courtney, Mookie, Andrea, Jen, Tara, Joanna, Megan, and April. Thank you all so much for being bronze tier um, level. And I'm going to go to the silver tier. Silver tier, Angie, Christina, Charity, Stephanie, Lynn, Tara, Reborn Babies, Katrina, Summer, April, Vicki, Lydia, Sherry, Marlene, v uh, Terry, Lizette and Christine. I hope I didn't mess up anyone's name. Thank you all for being silver tears. When I read them out and I see like how many of you that are supporting me, it just from the bottom of my heart, thank you. It helps so much with the expenses of YouTube and it helps me make better quality videos because I can put more money into the back end side of it. And it really does help so much. And last but definitely not least, my gold tears. Thank you so much for being gold tier members. Haley, Leslie, Denise, Jackie, Ashley, Alyssa, Kimberly, Sarah, Christine, Amanda, Jen, and Katie. Ah, thank you all so much. You guys rock. Okay. I still couldn't find the vlog where I talk about, or the video where I talk about my favorite YouTubers. But I did find some funny videos. So if you're ever looking for a video, I tag my videos really well. So you just go up, hold on, let me show you. Okay. This is a terrible, um, some of these like that is so unflattering. Okay. Let's go up here. <laughs> you go up to my page. Like this is just the blessed dress page. Um, let's see, go to David is such a loud talker. Do y'all, you know, husband's yell on the phone. Okay. So here's my channel. And then up here in the search bar, you can just type in like bless Jess cruise. Let's, let's see if it'll pull up an old cruise video. 
you type that in if that's what you're looking for and boom like cruise videos come up or maybe you want to find a recipe so let's type in my favorite buffalo chicken dip buffalo chicken dip boom it's going to come right up now sometimes you have to be careful because like this is not me it'll pull up a more popular video <laughs> than what i have but if you scroll down um it should pull it up see one of my favorite foods it pulls it right up so and then it'll pull up random stuff too sometimes so you have to be careful I think what happened was maybe I did it so that so if you're searching from my page like let's go back to my page and type in buffalo chicken dip it should just pull up my page no it still pulls up a few that aren't me so you have to be careful make sure it's actually me or say you're looking for the enchiladas oh let's do this because a lot of people are saying they want my taco soup recipe so taco soup and then it pulls up my taco soup right there. So that's how I kind of search. I try to tag my videos really well, but sometimes it's hard to find stuff and you just have to, I just have to like search through. I have thousands of videos. I'm trying to remember if I've hit 3000 yet. I may have, but there are so many so many because I vlog every day or I put a video out every day. So you just have to kind of scroll through. But I do also have really nice playlist. So if you go to playlist and then you scroll to like, um, there's different vlogmases, husband lunches, oldie favorites, take out or fake out. You can just scroll through. Like here's a playlist of our Gatlinburg trip. So you can like watch over here on this side right here is all the different videos. So you can just scroll through and it's all organized. So I need to probably clean some of these playlists up, but for the most part, they are pretty um, sorted out. So anyway, just a little tip if you're trying to find a specific video, but you can also let me know and I can usually link you easier than you sort sorting through thousands of videos. Okay, so here, I just was curious how many videos I have put out. A month ago was my 20 or 2,650th video. So I know I've put out in a month ago, like at least 30 more videos than that. So I'm around 2,700 videos. So I'm getting close to 3,000. Um, maybe I should try to do something fun for 3,000. That is crazy. 3,000 videos. There is no shortage of stuff to watch on my YouTube channel for real. But anyway, okay, now I'm going to quit procrastinating and go put um, another video together for y'all. Okay, so Lucy drew a picture of a dog at school and all of her friends requested her to draw them a picture of a dog. And she's the best friend ever. And she has been working all afternoon and they turned out so cute. We wanted to show y'all. So you hold them up one at a time and show everybody. Scoot a little bit this way so I can see you better. Come, come towards me. There you go. A Dalmatian? Here, you want to put it like flat? There we go. That's for Taylor. Okay, so cute. All right, next. Um, Vanessa gets a dog with a top hat. It's, it's a Cocker Spaniel, right? And she said that Vanessa requested a top hat and bow tie. Yeah. All right, okay. I love it so much. Okay, next. That one is a dorky. a dorky like Layla. That's for Addie. Mm -hmm. My gosh, Lucy, these are so cute. And then Esther wanted a Dalmatian. That's like the original one you drew, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and Taylor's. Look at the little uh, dog tag. It's so cute. Okay. Cool. It was supposed to have a German Shepherd, but it turned out looking like a cat. Kind of like a cat. But I, I can kind of see where you're going with the German Shepherd. Shepherd. So cute. And then last but not least. A super dog. A super dog. Who's this for? BB. Who's BB? Brianna? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's going to love that. Lucy, I you're such a BB. You're such a good friend. How long did it take you to do all that? Um, like over two hours. Oh, my goodness. You're such a good friend. Yeah. And I liked it because I got more practice in drawing. Oh my gosh, that is so right, you guys, I'm back with my red steroid face. <laughs> I don't know why. Every time I'm on a steroid pack, my, my face does this. I know some people like feel really energetic. They feel really hungry or whatever. I just get a really red face. Um, and my stomach has been hurting all afternoon. It's like crampy. I have no idea why. I don't know if it's the medicine or what, but that is no fun. 
I am going to go ahead and end the video here because I know it's probably getting long. Maybe I have no idea, but I am going to go ahead and edit it. It's already like almost 7.30 right now and that's crazy. So I am going to hopefully get to bed early, take some more of my cough medicine. Like Daniel Tiger says, rest is best. <laughs> I always tell my kids that. Rest is best when you're sick. So anyway, I am feeling a lot better. Medicine is definitely helping and um, I need to be well because we have lots to do. We've gotten a lot done today in terms of figuring out closings and what we're, what's going to happen and how the money is going to get transferred from this title company to this title company and all this crap. We're trying to like remember, okay, we've got to, we've already turned off the power. We've got to, you know, turn off our internet, schedule the new internet, forward our mail. And I've also been dealing with all of that today. So um, we've gotten a lot of the like tedious, you know, things done. Um, but I also am very tired too. So yay for pretzel day. It was just everything I wanted it to be, except if it had been as good as the Wetzel pretzel experience we had. I feel like we're never going to, we, we must have had like the perfect, most warm, delicious pretzel in Disney World. It was it wasn't in Disney World, it's at Disney Springs. It was like the best pretzel I've ever had. And now like nothing can live up to it, but it was still really good. And, um, and, you know, I ordered two drinks on accident, but then I got David, you know, he got one out of it um, and all the things. So it's been a good day. I will see you guys tomorrow. If you like the video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you are new. We will see you guys tomorrow. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight